Hello everyone, this is Amira and I am back. I have been a bit busy and if you guys have been following me on my Instagram, you would know that I just had a baby, um, which is why I was away or lost <laughs> for some time there. I hope you guys have been having a good um, good time at home. I know most of you are, are home right now because of the COVID situation. Anywho, I wanted to share my Sephora VIB Rouge haul with you guys. Um, there's just one item that isn't here yet. Uh, I think that will be here tomorrow. And when it's here, I will make sure to post about it. Or I will include it in one of my next videos just to give you guys an idea of what I got. Right now, this is exactly what I bought for myself. And I honestly didn't get a lot. Most of the things I got were repeats that I ran out of and you'll see just in a sec so to start off I'm gonna start off with the items that um, are new to me and then the rest of them I will show you are repeats so this is very new to me I have not used anything from this line wishful it's from Huda Beauty it's Huda Beauty's skincare brand I have not used anything from Wishful before, so this was exciting. She released some cute little sets for the holidays. This one, it says, is for $49. It's a $66 value, but with 20% 20 off, it was, I think, about $39, $39 or $40. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd give this a try. It says, set of one EO Glow Enzyme Scrub, one Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer, one get even rose oil it says bright on the side the box is really cute i think this would make a really good um gift for somebody who has been wanting to try out her skincare because of the nice sizes in here and these are the three items included and it says it just says it's a limited edition a limit edition a limited edition of wishful favorites in bite-sized form for glowing nourished and hydrated skin so let me show you guys I have not exactly been using all these products just yet I will but I have been very tired with a new baby I have not been doing a lot of skincare anyway everything was nicely wrapped I have tried these once so I can give you my initial thoughts. Here's the Honey Bum Moisturizer. It's 25 grams or 0.95 ounce. It's a very cute looking bottle. It has lavender, honey, niacinamide, and turmeric in it. And on the back, it says it's made in South Korea. The, the little jar I really like. I don't think I want to throw away this jar. This is the moisturizer. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this. I do not like the fragrance. It smells a lot lot, lot like lavender, and I don't like the, the perfume of lavender. I don't like the scent of lavender. Not a fan. But what I can tell you is that this moisturizer, I don't know if it's showing up very well, but it has like this, it has like a little tint to it when you pick it up, which I don't know if it's translating. Um, and then... See? It has like a slightly pinky, lavendery, purpley tinge to it, but then it goes away. And it is extremely moisturizing. It leaves my skin with a glow. So this is without and this is with, as you can see. Um, and the, the perfume stays. That's my only complaint. I do not like a very strong fragrance specifically of lavender and jasmine those are the two that i really don't like um and unfortunately this had that this has that scent and it, this is good because you know i got to try it in this kit i didn't buy a full size i am going to use this up for sure because it is very moisturizing i don't know if it if i will benefit from it i have dry skin normal to dry skin and usually during winter time because of you know heaters and everything it dries out my skin even further so this is the small size and it's nice you can travel with it because it's so small 
Yeah, look at that box. I mean, I love this jar. It's so cute. Anyway, so I'm going to put this away. And then two more items. This is her newest one that I saw on Instagram quite a bit. The Wishful Even Get Even Rose Oil. And this is a small size. It is. It says it's 10 ml or 0.33 ounces. So you can see it's this small. It fits in my palm like that just to give you a, an idea of the size. And it does have an expiration date on it. June 29th, 2023. So I have a good... Um, year and a half I think or two years almost um, to use this up comes in a nice little dropper bottle like this and I'm gonna show you guys I used this just once and then I decided to not use it because I need to check with my doctor if this is safe to use because it has it has um, in the back it says rose carrot seed rose hip and be Bobab, I don't know what that is. This also, oh, this is made in USA. It has a very, um, I'm okay with the scent that this has. It is a bit more of like an herbal scent, and I'm okay with that. I just need to check with the doctor to find out if it's okay for me to take while I'm nursing. If you guys know already, you can let me know down below in the comment section if your doctor's ever said anything to you I know you guys are not medical professionals and I will not take your word for it I'm just curious third item is yo glow enzyme scrub this is something I've been wanting to try for a long time now and this is also a very nice size in my opinion it is 40 ml or 1.35 ounces on the back it says it has pineapple and papaya enzymes then AHA and BHA and it's also made in South Korea. Now, pineapple and papaya enzyme, I really am a fan of, um, especially papaya enzyme. It, I've used something else with papaya enzyme before on my skin, and it has really nice um, smoothing and softening properties. So I really wanted to give this a try. It's really nice. And let me show you guys what this looks like. Uh, well... It also has a fragrance to it, and I can tell you now, I've used this on dry skin, and it did not cause me any breakouts or anything. It is very nice. It's very effective. It does give me nice and soft and smooth skin after I used it once. Um, however, let's see the ingredient list. Water, and then, okay, so alcohol is way up on the list just so you guys know if if alcohol doesn't bother your skin I think this is a really good item to try out it didn't bother my skin I do not have extremely sensitive skin when it comes to skin care so I would keep that in mind before using any of these items is to check the ingredient list before you apply it um, for the moisturizer alcohol is not that high up I think so it should be okay it's just the scrub that I would be careful with in any case so that's the Huda Beauty's wishful wishful skincare um, limited edition set to try out there are more sets um, there's more skincare sets as well on Sephora and on her website. If you guys are interested, give that a try. Anyway, so the next item that I got that is brand new to me is this. The Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad in Interstellar Icon. I don't have any of her four, four or like quad palettes. This is the first time I've gotten a quad palette from Pat McGrath. And I can't decide if I like it or not, except I have not yet tried it. So I will show it to you guys right here. This is the packaging. On the back, this time, she's put a little sticker with the actual names. To my understanding, the other quads that she has so far come out with before now didn't have this sticker, didn't have the names either. So 
there's that and these let me see where does it say it says made in the usa made in usa of us and imported ingredients okay so this is made in usa and let's open this up here we go if you guys have used this and uh, if you can comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this I am going to swatch these this is the first time that I'm gonna be swatching these I haven't swatched them yet As you can see this is still brand new These are the shades. They look gorgeous. I'm going to go over the two lighter ones one more time. Here we go. So these are the four eyeshadows. Um, okay, so moving on, I'm gonna put this quad away. So let me know what you guys think of this. And do you enjoy them? Do you feel like it's worth the price? The third and final item I got that is new to me is the NARS Extreme, sorry, Climax Extreme Mascara. I tried the Climax Mascara from before, the, you know, the red one um, that NARS came out with. I didn't really like it so much, so I was kind of hesitant on trying this out, uh, but I saw most YouTubers giving it, like, rave reviews as to how great it is. I tried it on... I didn't really like it as much, but maybe it's just my application. I love the brand. I have a lot of NARS, <laughs> not gonna lie. So I was kind of hoping for something better, but I'm gonna keep trying it. Sometimes mascaras take a little bit. When they start to age, they actually perform even better. I am one of those people who wants to see that really big, you know, really really big and thick lashes that's what I want from a mascara because I don't like putting on fake lashes that much I'm more of a mascara person so anyway so those three items were the ones that I got that were kind of new to me and I got them during the sale now moving on to stuff that I just repurchased that I had run out of one of them being this this is my SPF the Kate Somerville uncomplicated SPF SPF 50 soft focus makeup setting spray I have been repurchasing this for I think now it's been about three years I think I really enjoy this here's everything on the back whatever you need to know and it is also made in the USA you shake it really well and then you spray it and there is a little lock system if you like turn it around it opens up and then you want to make sure with this though that you you close it after you've used it because it'll clog up um, anytime I have forgotten to turn it it did clog up a little bit and you have to really spray it out a few times to get rid of the clog but this is one of my favorite sunscreens because I do not like putting sunscreen on my face very much and if I do even if I did put on sunscreen on my face by the time I actually leave the house with my kids, it's almost an hour. <laughs> so I usually keep this in my purse like pretty much every time I go out because I take it out and I respray it every two hours or, or whenever I you know remember. Um, and this does a really good job. It doesn't mess up my makeup. It doesn't give me any breakouts. The only thing I've noticed with this, which could be considered a con, is that after using it, the whole day when I you know when I come home I see a little bit of 
like greasiness around my hairline because I've been using this the whole day. I think that would happen with any sunscreen if you keep reapplying it over and over again and you're sweating on top of it. So I use this more in summertime um, and I always repurchase this. This is actually on sale on Sephora's website right now. So it was on sale to begin with and then I had a 20% off of it. So it worked out great for me. And then the next repurchase is the Amica Reset Clarifying Gel Shampoo. I really enjoy this shampoo. I also have the, the clarifying or cleansing oil that I use sometimes when if I have too much greasiness in my scalp, I use that. It works like a cleansing balm almost, like, you know, a cleansing balm from your, for your skin. I put that into the roots of my hair, let it sit for like two or three minutes, and then I wash it out with this. And it works really well for me. I'm really enjoying it. I'm almost at the end of my previous one, so I decided to get a second one. If you can get it on sale, get it on sale. So I, that's what I did with this. These are not like very cheap or affordable shampoos by any means. Then I purchased this set. I purchased the same set, I think, last year. It just had different flavors in it. I finished up this, so I really wanted to repurchase this one because this is my most favorite lips, lip, lip balm or lip sleeping mask. It's the Laneige Dream and Wonder 3-piece set. They do come out with this pretty much every year where they include their original one and then include two new scents that they came out in like little travel sizes. The one, the one big one on its own is usually, I think, $22.00. So for this, like $29, you get to try two new scents. Granted, these are very tiny, very small amounts, but these are for you to sample. So I like to put them in my purse and I use them. I, I actually don't use this just as a, leap, like a sleeping mask. I use this pretty much throughout the day. Um, and I've already gone into this. Oh, there we go. As you can see I've already gone into this because I couldn't wait my old one um, already was done and I had to throw it out and I needed some more lip balm so I got this the other two flavors that came with them is the Laneige well sorry the lip sleeving mask in lemon sorbet and mint choco I don't think these this is a new one I think this has been around for a little bit I have not, I've just not had it, and I did use a little bit of it to see how it was, and it does smell, it smells more minty to me, but it does remind me of uh, mint and chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> and the lemon sorbet I have not tried yet. It's very nice and fresh and citrusy, so I do like this scent. I just keep going back to the original lip mask. I don't know why that is, but... It's the first one I ever tried from the brand, and I think I'm kind of stuck on it. So there's a very small amount in here. I don't know if you can see. These are very tiny. There's a very tiny amount. So you can, you will run out of them very quickly if you're not using them like, you know, once or twice a week. If you're like me and you're using these almost every day, you will run out of these too very fast. So this is a repurchase for me. And then the last repurchase is... My Sephora pineapple face masks. I love the Sephora pineapple face masks. So I keep repurchasing them. Um, these were, I think, $4. And I think there is 20% off of this. I think you could check them out. Usually they're $6, I think, per piece. Um, so these are very nicely priced. And during sale time, it brings down the price to more, $2 at least. So it's, it's really good to buy it during the sale. Stock up on these. So this is everything I got for my Sephora VIB the Sephora VIB sale haul. Actually, no, there is one more item I got. I forgot to mention it. Let me show it to you guys. So I also ended up repurchasing my NARS Longwear Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have already used up one of these, and my old one was the shade Patagonia Medium One Point. Two, I think it was could be wrong but I think it was called Patagonia I actually switched the shade and I went to Santa Fe medium two the reason being this is more neutral Patagonia is more peachy on me 
It was very peachy. And right now, usually during the winter time, I become a bit more neutral. During the summertime, I'm a little more peachy in shade. So I decided I wanted to give this a try. So I got this. This was a repurchase. This is something I love. This is my favorite foundation. And it works really well during the winter for me. Having dry skin, it works really well. So there's that. So now I have shown you everything I got. What did you guys get? Anything exciting? Anything you recommend I get during the next sale? Make sure you comment down below and let me know what you guys got and what you thought of my haul. For sure, let me know about this. If you have gotten this, let me know what your thoughts are. And that's everything. Anyway, I will see you guys soon with my next um video i'm gonna do an empties video next and please like and subscribe to my channel it i will be very grateful and it will help me a lot and make sure you comment down below and let me know anything that you want me to know or just say hi i would like that too and if you're not already please follow me on my instagram account which is linked down below it's just exactly the same as my youtube channel amira's beauty channel and make sure you follow me there too because I do like to post there um, every time I, I upload a video. And if you do subscribe to me here and click the notification bell if you want, <laughs> you will see anytime, you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. I am very, very grateful for your support. Thank you for your understanding. I was gone for so long, um, but I'm back now. I will see you guys in my next video. Please take care of yourselves and stay safe. This is Amira signing off. Bye now.